In the shadowy corners of the digital world, QR codes, those innocuous little squares of black and white, can transform into silent predators. They lie in wait, ready to pounce and steal your valuable data. This isn't a script for a cyberpunk thriller, it's a reality in our digital age. Take this case that unfolded in 2023. A woman in New York received a seemingly harmless QR code on a promotional flyer. She scanned it, thinking she'd land on a website with coupons. Instead, she fell into a trap. The QR code redirected her to a malicious site that installed malware on her phone. The hacker behind it managed to steal all her personal data, including credit card information and social security number. Then there was the incident in Tokyo, Japan in the same year. A man scanned a QR code on a poster, hoping to get details about a concert. But the QR code served as a door for a hacker to infiltrate his mobile device. The hacker stole his photos, emails, and even his digital wallet. But it's not just individuals who are at risk. Businesses, too, have fallen prey to QR code hacking. A case in point is a large multinational corporation in London in 2024. They used QR codes for quick employee check-ins, but one day a hacker swapped the authentic QR code with a malicious one. The end result? The hacker gained unauthorized access to the company's internal network, leading to a massive data breach. The QR codes you see are like wolves in sheep's clothing. Beneath their innocent exterior, they can harbor harmful intent. They can be programmed to redirect you to harmful websites, download malware onto your device, or even take control of your device's camera. The truth is, in this digital age, QR codes have become a favored tool for hackers. They exploit our trust, our habit of scanning without thinking, and the consequences can be severe, ranging from identity theft to financial loss and even corporate espionage. But remember, not all QR codes are malicious. Many are just tools for convenience designed to make our lives easier. The problem lies in the fact that it's hard to tell the difference between a safe QR code and a dangerous one. So, the next time you're about to scan a QR code, pause for a moment. Think about where it came from. Consider its source. Is it trustworthy? If there's any doubt, don't scan. It's better to be safe than sorry. In the vast realm of the internet, QR codes are like riddles wrapped in enigma. They can lead to a treasure trove of information or open a Pandora's box of problems. So proceed with caution, be vigilant, be smart. Because in the world of QR codes, danger can lurk in the most innocuous of places.